there's still a, a large majority of the black community that supports Israel on a very fundamental level. Most of them go to church and they understand that Israel belongs to the Jewish people and, and that's, there's, a, there's a basic understanding there. But you are seeing a, a growing number of people who identify standing against Israel with, with being black. And so someone like me, to, to, to that crowd of people, would be, I'd be considered a sellout, um, a, a puppet of the Zionist machine, whatever you want to call it. And, you know, when in reality, it wasn't just Dr. King, there was a whole community of civil rights leaders who stood with Israel um, in an organization called BASIC, which stood for Black American Supporting Israel Committee that was founded by Dr. King's right-hand man, Bayard Rustin, and signed by over 200 civil rights leaders um, and celebrities and activists and all these different things. So um, there is now, though, a narrative that's going forth that there really, that there really isn't a precedent for black support for Israel when that's, that couldn't be further from the truth. So it not only is it not, I'm not selling out, I'm actually um, in tune with my, the, my own legacy, my own legacy as a black man to stand with Israel and the Jewish people. Did the Jews stand with the blacks during the civil rights movement? Oh, absolutely. I mean, Dr. King even said, more so than any other group, the Jews were, were sympathetic to our cause. And we were often seen um, by, the, the, by the white races of the time as, as the same, you know, like, you know, the, the signs on the door would say, no dogs, no inwards, and no Jews. You know, that, that was like, that, just because, now there's this narrative being pushed that because they, they look white, that they, you know, enjoy the privileges of white people. But, the, but white people didn't see Jews as white. They, they saw Jews as Jews, just like Jews in, in Germany, just like Jews in Ethiopia. They might have looked like, you know, the people that they, or the country that they're from, but everyone knew who the Jews were and they were persecuted, just, just the same. So we actually have, our, what links us is not just persecution, but that was one of the things that brought us so close together. And, and it's one of the things I think that helped us to also move forward together. Everything from the Rosenwald schools with Booker T. Washington and the thousands of schools that they built together and, and, and the, the countless number of, of black students who were able to get a, a quality education because of that, and you go, the list goes on and on. You know, blacks and Jews together, we really move forward together as a people. There's, there's a lot there.